were saying like, keep these meds away from our kids. Yeah. So I come from it from a medical perspective and I don't treat kids. I don't mm -hmm. operate on kids, but there are bariatric surgeons who do operate on kids, pediatric bariatric surgeons. Um, wow. Didn't even know that. Yes. And, and, and there's a lot of a totally appropriate indications for mm -hmm. pediatric bariatric surgery. Um, there's some diseases like Prader-Willi, which are genetic diseases that come with a hyperphagia, which mm -hmm. is hyper eating. Phagia is eating. And it, it's a central, um, centrally controlled hyperphagia. And these kids hit 300, 400 pounds before they're adults. Wow. Like you can yeah. be 10 years old. Like the treatment for parents with Prater Willie is to put a padlock on the refrigerator. Oh my goodness. And that's an excellent application for a sleeve gastrectomy for patients. Mm -hmm. um, and there, there's been growing pediatric bariatric surgery for a while, for the last 10 years. Wow. And now this brings into question, maybe we don't need to do a life-threatening surgery on a kid yeah. if they have access to these medications. Mm -hmm. And there can be health ramifications to being 100 pounds overweight when you're a teenager. Yeah. But I, I don't see that as nearly as evocative as the social ramifications. Yeah. And the ability to take someone who is not just socially an outcast, but is so physically limited in, in their interaction with their yeah. peers and giving them the opportunity of having a high school existence where they're not so marginalized. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And a college really experience yeah. and, and how that can impact their emotional well-being for life. Yeah, that shouldn't be discounted. Yeah, and to not need to do it through surgery to have these medications available for a twelve-year-old, where it's been proven to be safe. Yeah, for that age group, it seems like it would be irresponsible to not consider it. Yeah, for yeah, for a kid to not appreciate those benefits, risks versus right. rewards. Well, now, a lot of it is, is low, ignorance. You know, I agree. Like you just mentioned. I mean, I I didn't even know that, and I suffered with you know childhood obesity. You know, and I didn't even know that there was. So I think there's like nobody knows.